now we talk about the sequence submissions uh, sequences are submitted to the databases uh, in order to share them with the scientific community and uh, sometimes they are also required by the funding and the publication agencies to submit them um, it is important to ensure that the sequences uh, files they do not contain any special characters because sometimes uh, some control characters they can also be um, incorporated into our normal sequences and which uh, sometimes mess up the downstream analysis so there is a issue of uh, how to put the ambiguous uh, nucleotides or amino acids in the sequences uh, so some places you are not sure whether it is a or c or t or g but you are restricted to put just one single letter so there is an organization international union of biochemistry uh, that is abbreviated as iub it has established some standard codes to represent those uh, ambiguous bases or amino acids for example here we see obviously g a t and c are just guanine adenine thymine and cytosines if we see r that means it can be either a or g obviously the word is derived from the group from which it is they are coming from that is the purines we see y um, that is a pyrimidine it can be either c or t m stands for if they are having any amine group in them amino group in them uh, k is if they have keto group that is g or t s is if they have strong interactions three triple uh, three bonds uh, we can call them triple bonds uh, c or g they form triple bonds so s is at this position we can see either c or g w is for weak interactions a or t h uh, since it follows g so it's everything except g that it can be a c or t and same is similar procedure is followed down below for b v and d n can be any base same way for amino acids uh, we have unilateral codes from a to z though there are some letters that are missing and there are uh, some amino acids uh, like for example there are four amino acids that are starting with g so we gave that g letter to glycine for rest of them we might use some other letters like glutamic acid is represented as e y stands for tyrosine down below and x can be any amino acid like n in the nucleotide sequences ncbi has uh, two options uh, for sequence submissions uh, if the sequences are simple and uh, they are not much to be related with some downstream analysis uh, we can simply submit them uh, through option called as banquet and uh, if our data sets are small uh, we can also use this tool so uh, we can transfer the data set over the over the internet a uh, sequence is uh, for the submission of complex data sets um, complex sequences and annotations and uh, it is also good if we want to do some offline submissions normally where we have our data sets which are huge ones um, and obviously uh, that uh, data set may be um, used in future with some analysis tools and softwares so here is the uh, web pages uh, just showing the glances of banquet banquet and sequin same way uh, for the protein sequences just like uh, ncbi tools uh, we have uniprot um, similar tool is called as spin so that can take the protein sequences and it can also take the annotations uh, which are recorded into its knowledge base here is the page for spin we can register here and then we can submit our data so what we have seen here in this section is that sequences uh, they are stored in specific format and uh, if we want to submit our sequences we need to follow the guidelines provided by those databases